This is Our View, the television voice of Washington's working families. If you're just deciding what you want to be when you grow up, or what would better suit you as you look for a new job, then be aware of Washington's Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board. They have online tools that will get you off to a quick start on your search. I, th I think it's a great idea for people, whether they're just starting out, whether they're in high school or in middle school, or whether they're working adults, or people who have lost their jobs, to think very clearly about what they like to do, what they're good at, uh, what makes them want to get up out of bed every day. And those are tough questions. People don't often think about them. They're too busy either going to work or going to school. And sometimes it's a little bit scary even to think about, what do I really want to do with the rest of my life? But here at the state's Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board, we call ourselves the Workforce Board, we have several tools that you can use to help that process along. One of them is our Where Are You Going Career Guide. This is a free career guide that's distributed to school districts around the state, to our state's community and technical colleges, and to our work source centers, our work source reemployment centers. Career Bridge uh, is a great tool. It is a free state website that has over 5,000 education programs in one place. And it is comprehensive, meaning that we don't just focus on one segment of education. We don't just look at four-year colleges. We don't just look at two-year colleges. We have the full gamut of education programs throughout Washington, including apprenticeship. So if a person's looking at maybe a few days coursework, maybe a one-year certificate, a two-year associate's degree, or a four-year bachelor's degree, private career schools they can look at as well, four-year public institutions they can look at. It's all there on one website and it's completely searchable. When people get on CareerBridge, they're going to see right away there are three main areas. The first one is Explore Careers. That is our career quiz. Take the career quiz and you will find your top career clusters. Inside those clusters are many occupations and just click on an occupation and you will see more about what that job's all about. What does that job pay here in Washington for starting wages and for average? Also, the employment outlook for that occupation, and then most importantly, when there's education available, there will be links on that page that take people directly to the education programs available to train for that job. Once you get to that area, you're going to see a variety of education programs for you to click on. So once you get to the education results area, you can click beside each education program, put a check mark in each box next to the programs that you're interested in. Then a view details box will appear, it is green. So once you're ready and you've collected enough programs that you want to look at, go ahead and click the view details box. That will take you to your first program and you can start looking at the actual performance results when they're available for these programs. When you want to look at your other selections, there will be another green band to, to click. It's called View Your Education Selections. So you can see all the different programs that you've selected in your box, so to speak, in your little basket. And then you can take a look at how that, program's, how that program performs versus the other programs you've looked at. So this is a way to compare different programs and see if you're getting the types of results that you want. And I am passionate about CareerBridge. This tool is a national award-winning website. It won a National Innovation Award from the Council of State Governments in 2010. And the reason it won that award, I truly believe, is that it contains a consumer reports for people. It's really the first of its kind in the whole United States. We take the guesswork out of going back to school and hopefully give people a really great look at their future just a few clicks away. The Federation has begun negotiations on their next contract and most important is fending off threats to affordable health care for their families. It is so important for our union to maintain our health care benefits as state employees. We've been taxed and had our pay cut and we just need to maintain a, a sufficient level of health care benefits so that we have something to give back to our employees that makes working for the state of Washington a still viable employment. As a state employee, health care is, is very important to us because I have a family that I have to take care of 
And as state employees, we make many sacrifices, and healthcare just cannot be one of those sacrifices that we give up and hurt our families even more. As a state employee, it's, it's extremely paramount that we keep our benefits safe because, because we're the employees that are out there keeping the schools safe and we're keeping the roads clear and we're making Washington happen. And without a, a competitive benefits package and salaries, we won't be able to keep quality employees doing this type of work for you. A little used section of the Capitol grounds in Olympia has found a new use. Volunteers from a community service organization have established a large vegetable garden. It's cared for by members of the community, including state employees, and the fruits of their labor supply the local food bank. The Olympia Kiwanis uh, Club, Olympia Kiwanis Foundation, uh, provides most of the support money for the, for the project. Uh, the Olympia Kiwanis Club has been having a, a food bank garden of some size since 1990 and in the last few years, for three years, we've been doing it here at the Capitol campus and another garden provided by Jim Gaucher, Market Gardens Northwest, and we have our oldest garden is over on the west side. So between the three gardens, we keep ourselves pretty busy. The people here are from the food bank and from the buildings around here, DSHS, Department of Transportation, um, and, and uh, we have a regular work session at 5 o'clock on 5 p.m. on Tuesdays and special work sessions at other times. People like to ful fulfill part of the need for the Thurston County Food Bank and a lot of people like to garden. Um, so it's a combination of things. People get outside, and gardening kind of gets into you after a while. You know, you like to, you know that you've been raising, raising good, uh, good vegetables and providing fresh vegetables for the, for the people that need the food bank this week or this month. It feels good to, you know, to uh, be part of the supply, part of the solution and not just part of the problem. Here, it's just very close to home, uh, to, to work. My, I work just right out the uh, highway license building, so it's just just a, a few minutes walk. I'm here, and I felt like uh, you know growing something, and this is very meaningful, you know, to, to help those uh, in need, and this is healthy. Kiranas actually, you know, make this happen year over year, and then Food Bank, you know, is a recipient of that, and you know there are a lot of food produced here, just here in the in the Capitol campus. To make this thing really happen, we have to sort of uh, have an ongoing relationship with the staff and management of DES uh, because we're doing gardening within a stone's throw of all of the actual work buildings of, of East Campus on the Capitol. And we have to make sure that what we do doesn't interfere with the work of the State Capitol. And they've been exceptionally cooperative and exceptionally good to work with and we try to clean up after ourselves and respond to any any complaints that that might arise and it's just been a great relationship in this month's labor history ross reader brings up the subject of international solidarity this is a personal anecdote about an experience in solidarity on the international level bill ethel was general secretary of the building workers industrial union in Western Australia in the late 1980s, not union now known as Construction, Forestry, Mining, and Energy Union Australia. I met Bill in Seattle when he was a guest at the King County Labor Council, speaking as a crew member of the Greenpeace ship Peacemaker. In 1989, on a visit to Perth, I made our remade our acquaintance, and he opened several doors for me while I was visiting another friend a leader of the Municipal Officers Association, a union of city white-collar workers. Shortly after I returned from that trip, I received a telephone call around midnight from Bill, 
asking for some international assistance. It was 3 o'clock, of course, the next day, 3 p.m. Uh, at his time. A Chilean journalist and unionist had been touring Australia, speaking about affairs in his native land. This was back in the late Pinochet dictatorship days for Chile. The journal's home government had asked the Australian government, labor at the time, to send a fellow, this fellow back to his native land. And the government was about to do that, except that the airport workers in Australia, Perth in particular, wouldn't refuel any planes until the fellow was given safe passage to asylum in Sweden. The Australian government conceded. Petrol was added to the planes all over the land, and our friend headed to Sweden. Comrade, the Australian, Australian non-sexist term for sister or brother, Comrade Bill was calling because on the way to Sweden, the plane had stopped uh, in Anchorage. In Anchorage, in conflict with all international law, U.S. Customs officers boarded the plane, took the Chilean journal off, and were prepared to send him back to sure death in his native land. No reason given. Bill wanted to know if I could help. Not knowing if I could, in the morning I started making calls and got in touch with an immigration lawyer in Seattle who knew just what to do. I was totally amazed at the world that we live in as I watched him make phone call after phone call to the right people. Eventually, we had saved a life from our government's gruesome and illegal cooperation with the South American dictator. Now a big question is this, why didn't our U.S. union workers do something like the Australian workers did? That, my sisters and brothers, is a question for next month. This has been Our View, brought to you by the proud members of the Washington Federation of State Employees. We remind you, when you accept a paycheck for your hard work, you don't give up your rights. Thanks for watching. I got a girl, she lives up on the hill. I got a girl, she lives up on the hill. Says she loves me, I don't think she will. She's a morning nigga, she's a I'm Rich Langlois, Washington Department of Transportation Highway Maintenance. We're doing work important to your driving safety. Please do all you can to make it safe for us. When driving through a work area, observe the signs. Slow down. Pay attention. Please do what you can to send us home safely to our families. A message from Rich Langlois, Local 53 Department of Transportation and the Washington Federation of State Employees. <laughs>